Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this model, we're going to focus on the software to program the Modicon M221, which is the EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. We're going to have an overview of the different parts of the software. So let's go to the presentation. When we open the application, when we open the software to program the unit, this is the first thing that we see on the software. Okay, What we're going to do in this part is to analyze the properties tab that we have with all this information. So if we go to the software, let me just close this part. You can open from here, you select basic, structure machine expert basic, or you just with the direct access. It will open the application, the software to program the unit. I need to open the other screen on my side. Just move it to this one. This is the first thing that you see on your screen. So, what do we have? We have on the properties, all this configuration. We have application protection, project protection, project information, company, and front page. So, front page is just all the characteristics or all the data you want to show. The companies, all the details about the company, you can place here a picture if you want of the company you can change it this is the format there is available for you if you want to this to retain you can apply otherwise it will be lost the pressure information it's the pressure information the pressure of the machine or the pressure you're working with you can also add a picture here just to identify it and apply it but the most important thing here is these two fields okay we have pressure protection and application protection and here is something very important it's not the same okay so we have the pressure protection is all about reading the project that is going to be executed in your laptop and the application protection is all about if someone can get access into the application inside the control, if you want to read or write into that specific PLC that you're working with. So let's go back to the software. By default, this one, you have this red cross here. You need to select one of these options. You can select inactive in both if you want. And you have this warning, okay? And if we read the message inactive in both of them, it says uploading the application for the control is unrestricted. So everyone can make the read on the project. Okay, everyone can read to the controller. And the other one is so write. And if we change this, okay, it says that you are not be able to do anything to the controller because you have a blank space yet okay the same for the write into the controller okay so we can write something here administrator administrator something generic administrator administrator you can see we have different notifications now Okay, so if you want to read now to the controller, if you download this, it will ask you for a password to read. And then if you want to download a new application, the right protection, you will need to log in into the controller using this password. Okay, so you can have different passwords for read and for write into the controller. We can apply this. And then the project information is about all about the when you want to open the application, imagine that you close the application, you need to open it. It will ask you for a password. This is what you need to check here. You don't need to add 
that characteristic into the controller, into the software that you are working with. So this is information here, these three fields are very simple. Okay, you can complete it. The pressure information is when you want to open the application, then the software asks you for a password in order to get access. Otherwise, you aren't going to be able to do anything here. Okay. Also, you have the modification password. If you want to make one, one thing is to open the application, and the other one is to make modifications into the application that you that you have. Later, we're going to see all this different behavior on the project that we're going to work with, and then we have the application protection which is more related to the physical controller that you want to access to the PLC. Okay, so just to recap, we have application protection and project protection. Project, when you open the application in your laptop, okay, when you open the application, the SMBP, if I'm not wrong, the extension, when you open that using the Machine Expert Basic, it will ask you for a password and then you will need to make the modifications. You will need to access to this part. You will see a lock over here and then you can make the modifications in the application that you have in your laptop. And the other one, which is the application protection, is all about trying to download or upload information into the physical controller that you have. Okay, so this is it for this part. Um, let me just double check something here if I forgot something let's hold on a minute correct all the messages we already see this part all the messages this is part is very easy just complete the fields about the project the company project and this one is just some practice for you so in your case open the software don't get access to the other part, just start with this one with the properties. Go here, complete the information on the company and the project and the project, and then optionally you can play with this password to see the behavior or the message that you have. Okay, and then later we're gonna see in the real project how we can proceed to complete and play with all the functionalities that we have on this software. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Thank you.